Hello, I'm Metrism, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Fascist France, Vichy France. So, uh, currently we're embroiled in a war, which, well, we may have started, no big deal, uh, with the United Kingdom. And Iraq, Britain, Raj, uh, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Uh, we started it because we were like, we want Iraq. Britain won't get involved. Britain got involved. Not that I'm complaining much. We actually are managing to take over most of Africa now. We're kicking the uh, British out of most of their parts. And it's working fairly well for us. Uh, it's at this stage that I'm going to have to start considering who we're going to fight against next. Uh, we've got quite a lot of options. I mean, we've got little provinces all over the place. Like, we could take on the Netherlands. We could take on... Uh, Netherlands is probably a bit too big for us. Just because they're dispersed around the globe, we need to be able to try and crush them. Uh, we could take on Siam. Try and lock down our rubber over here. Um... I guess we could go against China. Finally join in against China and try and grab something. That might not be a bad idea. The Japanese would be very happy for us to join in. Uh, Japan. Yeah, I can call you into my war. Sweet. So we could basically go against China if we decide to uh, fabricate against them. Um, <clears throat> how long do we have left? We've probably got a little while left. Uh, the alternative is someone like Turkey. Um, Iran puts us in a little bit of an awkward strategic position because we have a something of the British Raj. Uh, we could do it, but it's not it's not ideal. Um, Iran would give us a lot of oil. And we are currently importing a little bit of oil still. Saudi Arabia gets more oil. Um, in fact, if we check the oil, or is it resource map mode? It doesn't get us a lot of oil. Iran gets us, like, loads. There's 42 there, 14, 12... I mean, not as much as, like, you get from the Caspian Sea being the Soviet Union, but, you know, you get some. Uh, this would also allow us to take the United Kingdom here, here. We can get Oman and Yemen, lock down the peninsula. And alternatively, we could declare against Belgium. Now, Belgium is a pretty interesting one, because it allows us to do this. We can then properly lock down most of Africa, apart from, say, Portugal and Italy. And, you know, the tiny bit of national Spain. Oh, hi, Liberia. We could take you, maybe. Um, so Belgium is certainly an option. Luxembourg, though. Also an option. And we can do it very fast now, because world tension is so high. Yeah, Luxembourg might not be a bad choice. Right. So, uh, I think what we'll do is we're going to wait for a few more troops to be uh, prepared, and then we're going to surround Luxembourg. We've actually got, you know, a decent amount of tanks here. So, speed up a little bit. And one thing I do want to get is Gibraltar. I can't really get it, so I want National Spain to help me out and just take Gibraltar. That way we can lock down the Mediterranean. Because we've got the Suez Canal, we've got Gibraltar. That allows us to control the Mediterranean, and then we can try and take out the British Mediterranean fleet. Um, Southwest France now. Ooh, hello. Enemy air superiority. Yeah, they're bombing us. That is not allowed. That is just not on. Fighters. Uh, do we have any fighters around that I can send over there? Ooh. Yeah, I've got you at Lebanon. Yeah, bring you up here. I do not want to bomb. That's destroying my infrastructure. Very, very bad. And... Done. Although quite who is bombing me, I'm not too sure. Like, British are over here. Surely they're taking Northern France. Um... I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. How's our attack doing? Yeah, we're pushing on. If we can capture this port, I think that's you without supplies. Yeah, we're doing okay down here as well. Oh, naval combat? Ah, it's just a British fleet uh, of convoys. Yeah, two convoy ships down. Cutting Britain off from its vital trade supplies. Although, they must be trading with someone in the Mediterranean. Because they can't go through the Suez Canal. What are you trading with? Can I see your trade partners? Um. 
um, trade. I think there is a way to see trade partners. I just can't think of what it is for the life of me. I think I can when I trade with them, but I can't trade with them. Undersea's blockade. Excellent. That's going to buff my subs quite nicely. Um, let's have a look at other options now. Uh, we really do need to get a move on with something like Air Doctrine. Uh, how far away are we from this? Quite far away. Still quite far away. A little bit away. I would like to get this bonus as soon as possible, but for now, we'll go with something. We need to do a land doctrine as well. Like, there are so many things to do here. I really need to get a move on, especially with my doctrines, though, because these take a very long time to do, especially as France. Like, look at that. Time to research. 321 days, and that's with a 50% like knockoff. France just it takes so long to do the doctrines. Um... Still ahead of time. We really need to do a lot of support planning, actually. We really haven't done enough. What about this? 1.24 years. Okay. We can't really do uh, amphibious landings yet. Fighters quite ahead of time. Right. Air, air, air doctrine. Right. Operational integrity. Uh, technical bombers. Much more flexible and conform both ground and regular bombing. But they're not ideal either. But they can do it. Uh, battlefield support. Uh, we can lay with certain divisions. Basically, uh, buffs our ground. Detection, important for taking control of the air. I'm going to go for this. Fighter detection, plus 10%. This, this is basically about getting air superiority. How are we doing over here? Uh, this is Africa. Yeah, you're all moving in to support that. Three more down. No supplies. Oh, should we get enough from this port? Why are we getting low supplies? Let's look at the supply map mode. Local infrastructure zero. Oh, so the infrastructure in this area has been destroyed by battle. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go to our construction and see if we can... Oh, there's just no infrastructure there. Yeah, that might be a good idea to put some infrastructure there. Modify government. Right, now we can modify our government. We can go from a war economy to total mobilization. Which uh, gives us an extra 10% speed and everything. Recoup our population does go down 3% though. I don't think I can really... I don't think I can really do that right now. Especially as we're going to be needing a lot of people for our war effort. Um, we also have, we can cancel our free trade and go back to export photos. I don't really want to do that just yet. I don't want to change my conscription laws. I'm actually quite happy having this amount of just stuff sitting in the bank. So we're going to just spend it on something interesting. Um, I could get a theorist, political advisor. What about material designer? Artillery research time, motorization research time, small arms research time. Um, ooh, the choices, the choices, the choices. What about tanks? Heavy tank designer, mobile tank designer. That's armor and hard attack, and that's max speed and reliability. I actually like max speed and reliability. I don't want my tanks breaking down. Ah, but I need army reform focus. Ah, okay. Navy research time down 10%. Aircraft. Uh, bonus to fighters, naval bombers and stuff, heavy fighters and tactical bombers, and heavy aircraft. I'm going to get the bonus to fighters. We do need to be able to control the air. It just doesn't happen right now. If we check. Uh, yep. The British still control that. Normally Germany is being bombed, but France is okay for the moment. Ah, you're not trapped. And I believe, yeah, you got up to the uh, position I assigned you to do. So, let's set you a new offensive line. And effectively, the new offensive line is just to push down to here. 
because I don't think there's anyone really opposing you at this stage. Oh, we've got free dockyards. That is just not allowed. We need to spend some of these dockyards. Um, right, let's have a look at what we're building. Subs, battleship, light cruiser. What do we have that's actually decent? We've got a heavy cruiser level 2, light cruiser level 2. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of light cruisers. And by that, I mean 10. And I'm also going to grab three heavy cruisers. There we go. Actually, I'm producing light cruisers anyway, so yeah, we should stop the light cruisers. Forgot we're producing them. So yeah, we'll get the heavy cruisers, we'll buff the battleships a little bit. Eventually, we'll need to take on the Royal Navy to actually be able to invade Britain. But uh, the important part is going to be trying to lock down the Med, take out the Mediterranean fleet, and then having a force strong enough to be able to sail out and try and interdict them. Hello, we're losing over here. Oh, now we're winning. Oh, now we're losing. Come on, push, push. Push! I feel like um, we've got like a pregnant uh, country over here. Push! We'll get a new nation out of you! Congratulations! It's a fascist regime! That's totally how it goes, right? Yeah, sinking convoys all over the place. As intended. Of course, if they can't get the materials required, it takes a lot longer to produce anything. If things don't want to produce anything, they can't get, say, aircraft back. They can't get tanks, materiel. Right, let's pause. And I'm actually going to direct you. To deliberately cut them off to one province. And I'm going to cut you off there as well. Uh, Thirty percent attrition. I'll let that go up a little bit more before we actually start messing with it. Oh, hello. Insufficient resources. Uh, we need more oil. Damn. Fine, we'll get more oil. Be that way. Port there. If we can cut that port off, they'll suffer from attrition as well. It's all about getting the supply lines, right? Oh, extra research slot. Thank you. That's so important. Now we actually have five research slots. It's going to be very helpful. Uh, we are just a little bit ahead of time for this, so I'm going to grab it. Dispersed industry. And national focus. Uh, jet effort. Tempting, but way too far ahead of time. Um, national intervention. Eh, I mean, they'll like us more. That's about it. What else have we got? Um, ooh, Italy or France first. Uh, we create basically we can create a faction. Woo Italy. They'll join us, so we can get Italy to join us. Tempting, but right now I don't really need Italy to join me. Uh, what about navy focus? Air focus. Yeah, these allow us to get um, a load of uh, cool stuff. What about defensive focus, aggressive focus? Yeah. I'm assuming army reform, we lose the ridiculous bonus we have, uh, negative we have on, um, what's it called? Uh, land doctrines. We get a two times research bonus for land doctrine. Uh, doesn't say if we lose it. Right, so we can go defensive, which gets us levy on mass. Um, we get a uh, bonus to production equipment. And then we get a bonus to spot artillery. Heavy tank models. Oh. Uh, we also get, you know, Alpine forts, extend the Maginot line. I don't really need these because I'm not going to be fighting Germany. Aggressive focus. We get division attack. We then get motorized focus, which provides motorized production cost. We get mechanized focus. Uh, research bonus for mechanized models. And then light tanks and medium tank models. I like aggressive focus. 
Because that's probably what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be wanting this tree. Although levy on mass is pretty nice. Production cost for uh, infantry equipment is, is very nice. But um, yeah, I'm going to go this way. All right, how many more we sunk? Two here. Two here. Two here. Two here. They will fear our U-boats. It's not really U-boats because we're not Germany, but you get the point. Right, murder. Yeah, they died instantly. Why is no one covering here? Alright, we're going to just try and sprint towards this port. supply lines. Now, because you're cavalry, you can move pretty fast. Everyone else is going to try and uh, fill in. Oh, hello. You met opposition. No, you want to cancel that. You can't really fight very well. No, it's okay. You can forget that. Stop attacking. Infantry, however. Aha! Yes. Go, go, my pretties. Ah, decryption. Awesome. Do we now have a decryption bonus? Yes, we do. So we're getting a bonus to fighting because we have uh, the ability to look at enemy battle plans and stuff. Uh, you're ahead of time. We get encryption, which stops them getting a bonus against us. Uh, you're... Ooh, only just ahead of time. Yeah, I want a medium tank. Three, two, three. We are taking names right now. Wow, that is a lot of convoys being taken out. If only I had uh, mechanized right now. If I had mech, well, motorized. If I had motorized, I could just sprint down here and push out to this port. But I don't have the, the speed to be able to do that. Uh, so research. I don't think we need this just yet. I'm already going to be placing down radar stations. I don't need the ability to buff that. Uh, that's ahead of time. Paratroopers aren't a bad idea. I kind of like paratroopers. I've definitely come around to using them more. Being able to dump some behind enemy lines and then be able to get a uh, multi-pronged attack on them is very useful. Very risky, though. If you don't manage to break through to them, they can run out of supplies and then die. Which is, you know, pretty much guaranteed not good. Uh, we need more infantry equipment, but we are about to get infantry equipment too. So I'm going to hold out on building any more right now. More artillery. Yes. More tactical bombers, more aircraft, tanks are about to start messing with the world, so I won't do anything for that just yet. Yeah, they're defending the port, uh, the port pretty well. We'll take you. By the way, uh, at people's request, I've turned the day-night cycle off. Because it gets a bit annoying, apparently. I don't really find that, but it might just be because it's coming across on a video. Uh, two more. Three more. Uh, have you been cut off, or do you have a route there? Looks like you might still have a route. Oh, you can cancel your move. Cancel your move. Cancel your move. Oh, I don't know. I've got multiple things selected. Whatever. Um, Italy sends a volunteer division? Sure. I think we'll be fighting Belgium soon right now. Which I will look forward to. Right. Middle East. Once you've... 
crack that, we can start cracking them out of this pocket here, which involves trying to get to port. There we go. Right, new battle plan. And then... Like that. Carry out immediately. Meanwhile, Africa... Oh, we've just had some uh, troops land in Tunisia to support us. And I think I can alt... Like an alt, come on, drag the arrow or something. You know what? Whatever, it'll do. We'll just be charging them anyway. Crush that little loop. And we have spare factories. It's because we're producing so many factories now. Um, yeah, for the moment, we'll dump it into arms because we'll be changing that very shortly. But at least we'll get a little bit of speed on it. The production bonus will build up. Right. We're going to end today's episode here. We're almost at the stage where I think we can declare on Belgium. The issue is I definitely want to have this uh, tidied up so that I can send some of my forces from here to surround here. And also, we're going to need a lot of forces stationed over here in France. Um, Belgium aren't a pushover. Look at this. They've got 14 infantry and it's just one province alone. I can't see anything here. But here... Yeah, they're, they're not going to be an easy nut to crack. But uh, hopefully we can force them out. Part of the reason I want paratroopers is so I can just paratroop into Brussels and then get multiple um, sort of, what are they called? Fronts to attack them on. And that's the plan at least. Although, ooh. Producing pretty fast now. I like it. I've been really seen. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing as per usual since uh, this is going to be a new game, a new series, etc. Let me know down below what you think. Until next time.